So today I wanted to talk about imposter syndrome so that if anyone can relate to the story, whether you're in high school, college, medical school, or wherever it is that you're at, you know that you are not alone. Imposter syndrome is a psychological process in which you doubt your skills, your abilities, or accomplishments because you have this internalized fear that you're going to be exposed like you're a fake or a fraud. And man, this feeling just sucks. <laughs> it feels like like you have to keep this poker face, but you have a really bad hand, but it's for a really long time and it's a prolonged time. You know, when I think about it, I didn't know this term, but I can definitely think back. I felt the syndrome in high school and college, medical school residency. And I'll be honest with you, I still struggle with it as a doctor today. I know it doesn't make sense. I'm a doctor. How could I still have these thoughts? But it's true. So to address it, what better way than to overcome is to face it. And I figured, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the real stories and share our stories so that maybe we can try to get over the psychological process that it's so ingrained in our brains. So especially I think I was lucky or it was a mistake that I got into this college because coming from really humble circumstances, I felt very out of place there. And especially when I started to struggle, when I started taking my more rigorous pre-med classes, that's when I really started to sort of believe maybe I don't belong here. Like they made a mistake letting me in. <laughs> like I'm not as smart as everyone else here. You know, just that feeling of I don't belong. I'm an imposter. But inside, I was really struggling. I was thinking, how am I ever going to get through this? How am I ever going to get the kind of grades that I need to get into medical school? Everybody else has it easy. It's a false belief. It's a false thought that feeds into imposter syndrome. Looking back, I can see that that was completely false. There were other people that were struggling. They just weren't talking about it. And I wasn't talking about it either. So how are we supposed to talk about it if everybody feels like an imposter and nobody wants to talk about it? I was working at this clinic and I had this, a great colleague. She's much older than I am. One day she came and she got a gift for the staff. She gave me a coach purse and she gave a lot of the staff um, like nice gifts. <laughs> This was like my very first expensive item. Uh -huh. And I felt so guilty. I felt guilty having that. Mm -hmm. And I said, why did you do this? Like, no, here, take it back. And she told me, she came from a low-income background herself too. And she said, you know, the hardest thing I've had to learn is that I deserve good things. But you've worked hard. If mm -hmm. you can afford it, you deserve it. And she said, and it took me so long. And she's like, and I can see that in you that, you really try not to go for a lot because you have this sense of guilt. She said, and that's why I got it for you. Because mm -hmm. I want you to get comfortable that you do deserve nice things. I felt so guilty. Yeah. 